Hey ho here, Jill Jewell, one of your Hennepin County advocates with a short video on what to expect at Hennepin County Fair Judging Day. Judging Day is an exciting day for 4-H'ers and their parents. Often it's the highlight of the 4-H year. The fairgrounds are at Corcoran's Lions Park, which is at the intersection of County Road 101 and County Road 10, just north of Maple Grove. When you arrive at the fairgrounds, park in the large parking lot and walk onto the fairgrounds through the main ticket gate. Since the fair is not open to the public, you will not need a ticket to enter the grounds on Judging Day. Look for the 4-H signs directing you to our large circus tent. Judging takes place in and around the circus tent to spread out the crowds. Your first stop is the check-in table, where some friendly volunteers will look up your name and hand you your exhibit cards one for each project you brought to the fair. Before you line up for judging, you'll be asked to have your picture taken so you can be a part of our 4-H photo collage. The volunteers will direct you to the appropriate judge and you can get in line to wait for judging. How do you know which judge to go to for which project? Easy, each judge sits by a particular colored balloon. The check-in volunteers can tell you which project areas are judged by each judge based on their color of balloon. Yes, you will need to wait in line for judging. With over 100 exhibits to be judged in a five hour span of time, there's no, and no way to predict when each family will arrive, you may need to wait up to an hour for a popular project area such as photography and fine arts. Plan to notify your coaches of any summer sports teams that you may be late to games or practices if they fall on judging day. Youth can ask a parent to wait in one line while they wait in another if they have multiple projects to be judged and want to speed up the process. The last step in the judging process for state fair eligible youth who are in grades six and up is to turn in your state fair preference sheet. Since each youth can only take one exhibit to the state fair, the sheet ranks all your exhibits in order of your first priority that you'd like to go to the state fair on down. After being judged, vote for your favorite t-shirt design for our State Fair t-shirt design contest. These shirts will be given to each 4-H'er who gets to exhibit at the State Fair, and any age 4-H'er can vote for their favorite. The voting takes place at the mini 4-H office under the circus tent. And last but not least, take a look and bid on items offered in our silent auction, Hennepin County's main fundraiser for the year. Great deals abound. Thanks for listening and Whoa! One second! How do you pick up your projects at the end of the fair? Projects can be picked up after 5 p.m. on Sunday, but no earlier. We're required to keep all of our projects up while the fair is open to the public. When you arrive close to 5 o'clock to enter the fairgrounds and pick up your projects, the ticket takers won't require you to have a ticket. If you have been notified that you've won a state fair trip, arrive earlier in the afternoon with your checkbook to fill out state fair paperwork and pay for your trip. Not only do you pay for the fee to the state fair trip, but you also pay for meal tickets that you'll use during the state fair encampment. So decide in advance how many you'd like to eat in the 4-H building, which is also called the 4-H Hilton. Whew. A lot to do, but it's a lot of fun too. So thanks for listening and we'll see you at the fair.